Can anybody guess what kind of paracord this is? <laughs> okay. Take, take it away, Ernie. Take it away, Ernie. It's, it's going to be, to be a, a bumpy bump ride. ride. <laughs> <coughs> I can't do this right. <laughs> Hi guys, hi guys, welcome back to uh, FNS Bushcraft. FNS Bushcraft. Uh, 2022. 2022. Um, hope everybody had a good Christmas yeah. um, and a modern happy new year. Uh, we sort of did. Um, so yeah, we're yeah. back here at the shelter. Um, and basically, for the first video of the year, we're going to get try and get this 100% complete, if that's possible. Yeah. Um, we have got quite a bit to do, so it's going to be finish the back wall put some bedding in and maybe continue to build up these walls a little bit um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, so yeah, we'll get to it and we'll catch you in a bit. Let's get crafting. Right. Do you want to explain what you're doing? Not particularly. Alright then, bye. Just simply cutting off some lengths of uh, timber branches um, to make an, a, a triangle, basically. And we've gone up with cordage and measured from the apex of the roof down. And we've done the same for the other side. One side's longer than the other. Yep. Um, and then we've got a piece already for the bottom. You join all those together uh, and then lattice, do like a lattice effect, weaving branches to kind of fill it in and then attach the piece of tarp that we've got and then put that up and in and tie it onto the shelter. Sounds good to me. All being well. So this is the basic triangle shape that we're going to be working with for the back. Uh, and simply each corner is just going to be lashed together to create a frame. As close as we can get them. 
I'm just currently uh, processing this spare pile of spruce boughs into bedding for on there. This is what eight months of weathering looks like. All the uh, pine branches have died off now and they're starting to rot. They're going all black. And the logs are covered in mold. It shows that they're rotting as well. But it's still bone dry inside. Well, we can't see, it's too dark, but. The uh, tops still in good shape. This is the great thing about coming out and bushcrafting, guys, is anything that you do make or build will eventually rot away and it will like you were never there. Apart from a giant sawhorse, of course, but...
So guys, we've kind of got the frame in now. Um, it's a bit wonky, but the shelter isn't perfect anyway, so it's no biggie. Um, this top log here also had fallen off again because of the movement of the trees. Uh, so we've lashed it on this time as well. That's not going anywhere anymore, which is great. Um, and it also helps us fill the back in. Aye. There's the hobo in the hobo shelter. <laughs> um, so now what we need to do is use this triangle to make a lattice um, or another small frame on the inside, um, which we're then going to weave spruce boughs that are left over in the pile over here um, so nothing goes to waste. Um, and then it'll make it look like the sides on the back as well so it's all in keeping with the same excuse me with the same look um, and it'll help camouflage it from this back end because as you can see it's just all exposed logs and from a distance in the canopy that's going to stick out like a sore thumb so but you get the idea like that You're gonna you're gonna tie them, aren't you? Yeah, that's the idea. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's looking good. So that's the general. So. Really, it's just, just the aim and the goal is just to fill the back in. Um, doesn't have to be fancy or a particular way. Um, just as long as it's functional, that's all that matters. Yeah, as long as it does what we need it to do, then we can then tie the tarp to that once this is filled. Can I feed it in? Yeah, on the top. Yeah. Mm. Not long enough, is it? It will be. I've just not tied it yet. Right. <clears throat> Are you pissed? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> That's going right at the beginning of the video, that is. It's going to be one bouncy ass bed. Yeah, it'll be comfy mate, I'm warm, and also you've got to stop all that fucking cold air coming up and through. 
Right, so what you're seeing now guys, this is all the bedding material. Well, not all of it, but this is what the stuff we're going to be using. And uh, we've just got as much as we can carry right now. Um, as well as all these uh, branch ends of spruce boughs. Um, and we're going to make a, a mixture of loads of different things that we can get from the environment. All the bits of bilberry bushes, bits of heather, moss. Uh, spruce boughs and we're going to mix it all up and flatten it down on the floor and all the mini branches that run through all the spruce boughs and the bilberry bushes and stuff will create a lattice effect on the floor and it will stop all the smaller bits of debris falling through the gaps of the logs that's what we're hoping um, and it should be thick enough once we're finished to be completely insulative there's no point in me filming inside the shelter because as you can see it's just a big black hole at the moment. We need to get like a little uh, storm lantern and hang it off the yeah. thing, don't we? That'd be cool. <laughs> Are you done for today? I'm knackered, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Right, well, we'll uh, call it quits there, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers. This has been FNS Bushcraft. Thank if there's, you very much. If there's going to be any links, they'll be in the description box. So go check that out. The start of 2022. Um, what a great start to 2022, guys! Some nice hard work, um, and the finalisation of a shelter. So maybe finish next week. Yeah. <laughs> Run out of time. As always. So thank you much, very much for watching. Cheers. See you next time. See you next time.